All right, we go back to the channel. We're back at it again with some more alone in the dark. Um, I know I've been uploading weirdly recently. I got a new job, so I'm adapting to that because I used to work overnights and now I'm working in the daytime. So I'm just adapting a little bit. But uh, once I get situated, you know, we're going to be back to the daily uploads like normal. Um, but without further ado, let's get right into this shit. If you haven't checked out the last episode, I'll put it up top. And if you enjoy, subscribe, all right? Subscribe or you're going to have a fucking problem. And that problem is me, all right? Don't test me. Alrighty, we're back in this fucking house of horrors. We're looking for Jeremy. I still haven't seen that fucker. He's probably dead. Uh, what do we gotta do now? I forgot. Okay, so we gotta repair the plate on the boiler. Find the combination lock for that safe. And we also gotta find that missing... Yeah, that medicine bottle, which we couldn't find last time. Let's look around. Let's look around a bit. I don't really know where to start, to be honest. Oh yeah, we got the shotgun now too, so uh, when we encounter that big boy, he fucked. He's fucked. Just know that. Alright, so I think it's this door. This is the door that was smoking last time, yeah. Have we ever went upstairs right here? I don't even know. But let's check Lottie's ring. Oh fuck, there's a rat in here. Little Stuart Little, bro. Okay, we've we've searched in here, but it says we're missing something. What are we missing in there? Oh wait, we're in a fucking Say Lottie's room, of course it's a fucking bathroom. Okay, this is Lottie's room. We missed something in here. Oh wait. Is that it? No, that can't be it. Oh the medicine box, of course! How'd I forget about that? Okay, we need a key to the medicine box, but I don't know where to look. Let's do some scavenging a bit. Let, if I can get around this fucking railing, mate. Jesus Christ. I don't think we've been up here before. Oh, hold on. It's weird. Yes. It's Stick that up in here. Mm. It worked. We're getting places, ladies and gents. We're getting places. This looks familiar. Who is she? Fucking hell, that was. Detective Conby, how good of you to come. Let me pour you a drink. What happened here? This place looks like it was hit by a bomb. <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, Detective. Thanks. Did the ceiling just collapse? <laughs> I heard it was something in the attic, something that was supposed to happen, but didn't. How that could have such consequences is beyond me. The truth is, I don't know why the room looks like this, but I bet your friend Jeremy does. You know where I could find him? Oh, somewhere in his past, I suppose. He keeps going on about that mysterious dark man. I think he is hiding from him. Or maybe he's with him. I can't really keep up. I don't worry much. Take a look around this room. You may think it looks spectacularly devastated, but I just think it's finally found its stride. <laughs> it fits perfectly with the state of this place and its loonies the same goes for the nonsense with jeremy in my eyes we finally managed to match the wild ride inside all of us well i'm happy you find the evening so harmonious i uh hope you don't mind me setting things right jeremy's business that is this room looks beyond my capabilities good luck detective hope to see you again soon yeah Evening, miss. She'll see me real soon. Let's be real. I'll see her in the room tonight. Looking like Marilyn. Looking like Marilyn Monroe and all that. You know what I'm saying? All right. Finally, a new room. Let's look around. Nothing in there. So we're looking for a key, medicine, and I think that's about it. And that plate. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. So this is the mezzanine we're in. I thought we've been in the mezzanine. Oh. Oh, okay. And this is the way to the bedrooms. Yes. 
Nah, fuck them roaches, bro. So we can't get around to that. Oh, yeah, we can. We have to pass her. Get to the other side. Bye, darling. See you later. Nothing? What's this way? What the fuck? Just, there's just a stretcher hanging from a hook. Yo, this place, I swear. Okay, let's go upstairs first before we go down there into the fucking basement. It's weird though, this place looks like it's shut down. Like it looks abandoned, but it's not. Oh, that's me fucking tired as hell. All right. Oh, we can't go that way. Dude, I'm, I know one of these times I'm gonna... I'm gonna turn around and we're gonna be in the upside down again, bro. No way we ain't. No way we ain't. Oh, so I need a key for that door, if possible. I don't think I have a key. No, I don't. Key. I don't know what that's about. Okay, now we're on the bottom floor. Oh, we're gonna find stuff. Let's search. Nothing. This actor, though, the voice actor for this... Oh. Syringe. The voice actor for this dude. I know he's never done video games, but he do be sounding weird a little bit. Medicine box key babies! Oh my god. Alright, uh... Oh, that's a door right there. We're gonna... If there's nothing in here... Oh, that's locked. Okay. We're gonna head back to that medicine box. Because if there's medicine in that box, then we hit two birds with the one stone. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, hold on. There's more of that aggressive rot. Wait, where? Oh, yeah, all over that shit. I'm not crawling in there, I'll let you know. On the commonplace of evil, there lies virtue and stark irreverence, careless thoughts of luminous indifference. But blame not the beast we once were, which science so often wished to refer. Not the wicked full of sin, it is you who stand and grin. All our good intentions aside, whereupon we build our pride. Sunless solitude, follow not this corrupting light. Prophets of confidence always crashes out of sight. Hear me, for we all bear this mark. Thus we must remain alone in the dark. Alone in the dark. Why does she sound like someone straight out of fucking Elden Ring, bro? You better not fucking move. That's all I'm saying, buddy. Ooh. Shortcut. Would you look at that? We're back at the medicine cabinet, boys and gents. Boys and gents? What? I'm done talking, bro. Let's open this fucking cabinet. There we go. Dr. Jerkins. Lozengas is Jerkins. Dr. Jenkins. Now we can head back to that room. I believe this is where we gotta go. Yep. We still need that code for that, but I don't really know what that is. And now we gotta match the rot. Um. Oh, we can... Yeah, there we go. Okay, yep. Let's just see all the rocks first. Okay. It's gonna be like that, like that, and then... Okay, that's the first one. Boom. The rot made the shape of a snake. There must be something important to find here. Maybe it has something to do with the numbers on the labels. Two, five... Is that a one and a seven? Two, five, seven? Two, five, seven. And a snake. 257 and a snake. It's got to do with this, right? But he said there could be other things around the room as well. Don't know what fuck that is, mate. I'm not the brightest when it comes to puzzles either, so. Yeah, 257 and a snake, I guess. 
Wait a minute. We use... Ready? Uh, uh, d d d d no, not Emily. This. Two. So could it be two? Wait a minute. One, two, three. Ten. So Pisces, two. Pisces, Gemini, Leo. So that Pisces, Gemini, Leo. Let's see if I can remember those symbols. It's another one of those strange padlocks. Pisces, Gemini. Yes, bro! We're so smart, dude. That's why I like playing video games, because like I'm not smart and it makes me feel smart. You know what I'm saying? Now, was that the... That's the broken plate. So now we've got to head back into the cellar, which is... Okay, we were in there. I was like, what the fuck, babies? Yes, yeah, so now we head back into the cellar. And then... I think that's where that goes, right? Beside the valve that was open. Almost passed it this way. Yeah, let's let's get to the cellar. All right, here we are. We heading down, boys. We heading the fuck down. It's stained. Looks like some kind of rot. Oh, okay, this is another puzzle. We got this because we smart as fuck. So, this I can already see goes like that. And that goes down here. Let's start with the houses. The houses, of course, are the easiest part. So... And these metal pieces are the borders. That might be right. And then... What the fuck? Okay, that's definitely one of the side pieces. Can that be that? Okay, that looks right to me. But the church is not right. The church has to go there. We gotta find that border where the church is. Wait, it has to be that, don't it? No. We'll figure this out, lads. That can't be that. And that can't be that. That's most likely the case right here. Okay, let, 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 let's figure out the border first, all right? Maybe it's like this. No, because that is a border right there. And I doubt those houses are going to be sideways. Okay, this is like a, yeah, a bottom right thing type like that. Same with this one. Oh, wait, the corner pieces we don't change either, so it has to match with the corner. Yeah, cause that matches with that corner, that matches with that corner. I think we got the corners right. This is like a field. That has to be one of these, right? No. That. There we go. We're getting somewhere. There we go. We're getting somewhere. I don't think that one's right. Where the fuck's the sun go? Something's not right here, mate. Oh, wait. There we go. And then this is also that. No, it ain't. We had that right. We'll get it eventually, lads. But this one definitely looks like it is. Yeah, that's in the right spot. So we're looking for a house. One of these pieces has to have the top of that fucking house, man. Oh, we did it! What the fuck? How oh, was that? His numbers. Pressure gauges. Oh, and there's that oven open. 
Oh. Five, seven, nine. Five, seven, nine. Five, seven. Okay, so reverse nine, five, seven, nine, seven, five. Let's try that out. Here we go, lads. Black glass. Is That's the wine. Another room. Must be a way to another one of Jeremy's memories. I know exactly where that is, dude. It's literally down here with us. Not in here, but you know what I mean. This door just opened for me. Fuck that we out. Yo. Do they fucking bury people down here? Um. What? This is where I was. Oh, we're in one of his memories, aren't we? I knew it. I knew it would work. You're getting good at this, Carnby. Maybe a little too good at this. A little too good at this. Yeah, I think we're in one of his memories. Hello? I come in peace. I'm not looking to throw down. Is that a guy up there? No, that has to be a statue, right? Like I said, I'm not I'm not here to throw down. I'm just trying to find Jeremy and I'm trying to get the fuck out. Cause this place gives me the fucking creeps. So hand over Jeremy. Hold on. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> oh, we can't kill it. <laughs> I thought that was sacrifice sacrificial remains right there, bro. Okay, let's reload this, cause Okay, here we go. You can hear me, I'm looking for Jeremy. The Hartwood's family crypt. Emily's family must have deeper roots in New Orleans than I thought. I figured she was a Yankee like me. Right? Look at that sexy man, bro. Can't be anything in here, right? I don't get why I can go in here, though. There's nothing really in here. Must just be for the lore. It's dark over here, man. Yo, I'm not going back there yet. Oh, I might have to. Uh, Fuck me, I just scared my... I don't know if I should go back here yet. Oh, a chesticle, baby! Ammo, of course. Fuck! <laughs> scared the shit out of me, bro! No wonder why that shit was there, man! Yo, that gurgling is terrifying, bro. Fucking hell, man. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff to look over here. It appears that medallion. That medallion on the statue goes onto that door. The blessing. What's this? We better find out real quick, Crosby. No, whatever your name is. Here. Got it. Yeah, let's pick up that fucking... Oh, it's a sledgehammer. I thought it was a pickaxe. Damn. Holy shit! Oh my god, one of those! Get down, boy! Holy shit! Bro, fucking came out of that crypt! Oh my god, this place is fucking terrifying, mate. Holy fuck. All right. We're in another yard. We just ri we just wrote something down. We just wrote something down. So it looks like we need another a big Jeremy three his chapel in his book. So it must be important. Looks like I'll need more medallions to open it though. Yeah, we need two more. Everything I need. They ain't not my Of course we when do we have everything we need? You know what I'm saying? Hey. Don't you fuck with me, mate. Holy oh, shit, man. There's a lot of them. We're gonna have to... I don't mind sneaking around, brother. I ain't trying to die out of date. Oh, 
but we're still trying to look for those collectibles though oh it's one of those big boys is there a way to see how much hits i have on my melee weapon though i don't believe so oh he's fucking gurgling i feel like these guys can sense me though you know what i'm saying Oh, fuck that. Like, if I were to pretend to hide here, I feel like they would see me. Yeah, like, look, he's turning around. Okay, let's, uh... We sneaking, boys. We sneaking. Holy fuck. Sorry if I'm quiet. I'm very scared right now. This takes full concentration of the mind, body, and soul. Do some searching. I see something over there. Oh shit, fuck me, mate. Oh shit, fuck me, mate. Oh, he's coming for that ass. And that ass is my ass, bro. What is that, more ammo? It looks like it. Oh my god. I see our fucking way to go right there. Y'all see that shit? Nah. <gasps> Dude, he looks like a nut sack, bro. Dude looks like a fucking nut sack, man. Holy shit. Get in there, whatever your name is. I forgot it. Got some weird ass names, dude. Kind of glad I'm, I'm locked in here. Honestly, I don't want to be out there with Mr. Nussek. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're keeping ourselves, keeping ourselves, you know, calm. These times of horror. I wonder if there are boss battles in this game, though. There's got to be, right? This is a pretty open area for a boss battle. Oh, shit. Look at the blood over there. Oh, that's a melee weapon? I like that. I like that a lot. I think we're good, honestly. Oh, we got to go deeper. We do gotta find these fucking medallions, though. Or there's gotta be one down here, right? Yo, if I open a coffin and there's one of those fucking things in there, though, I'm instantly throwing a right and a left hook. There we go. Dude, I'm ready to run if something comes around that corner. No, fuck that. Ooh, but I do want to see what's down there. Come up those fucking stairs and you're done. Don't do it, buddy. Oh, fuck. Oh. What the fuck? Dude, put maggots under my fucking feet, bro. Oh, he's dead. He just died standing. I thought one was gonna come up from behind me. Yeah, that, I can't run with that shit in my hands, so. What are you fucking you? We didn't even get to use our crucifix yet, so I'm not picking up the sledgehammer. Ammunition. We gotta reload the shotgun. Ah! 
Hey! Wow, he's got a big wiener. Ah! Oh my god, he's trying to hit me with his fucking wiener, dude. Yo, let's test out that crucifix. Another hole to dive into. Why not? Let's do it. We got the crucifix. We're good. We got the power of God himself. Gotta reload the shotgun too, bro. I don't know what that fucking thing was. Oh, we can open this door with two of them. That's all we got anyways. Uh, that one. Okay, so we just gotta rotate them, right? Fingers up. I'm guessing just straighten them, right? No. How the fuck? Oh, I see the lines. Like that. No? Oh, we can flip them as well. That. Yep. And then... That. Yes, there we go. Big brain moves. Drink some of that. I don't really know how much um, that actually restores for health. Oh, we're in the fucking catacombs, bro. This is where that fucking house puts all their fucking loonies when they die, dude. Oh, we're by me! Too many of them. I gotta get out of here. Oh my god! Fuck that! Ah! Oh my god! Oh, the, the one came out of the fucking ground that was stuck, man! Oh my fuck! Oh, he hit me with his willy! Oh my god! I, I would've closed that door behind me. Oh my god. I think the ceiling fell in, bro. I ain't going back to check. Fuck that. Make sure we ain't missing anything down here. Dude, that's probably where those fucking things are born, man. Yo, I better find something down here. Oh my god, there it is. We need to get out of here. Give me this shit. We're getting out of here, boys. Get me out. Alright, but where- Oh, we're- Where are we, actually? That's the building right there, right? Thank god that's over. Oh yeah, we're right where we started. Good, good, good. Right at the gates. The gates of fucking hell, probably, when we open this door. About to release all these fucking demons out. Whatever the fuck they are. Alright, um... Yep, put them all in, and... This doesn't really tell us... Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna guess we straighten them. Let's just straighten them all out first. They do have all of these in common, whatever those are. Okay, so we can obviously flip them and shit. That looks like it's right. Oh, you think we connect them all in the middle? You know what I'm saying? Like, this one has that, right? Oh! We did it! I don't know what we just did, but we did it. Please don't touch her. Jeremy. Jeremy. What are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. I know. It, it's all a big mess. No one understands. I, I'm just trying to keep evil at bay. Just for a little while longer. You've got to come back with me. Your niece is waiting at Dorsetto. Emily? Why would you... My letter. I'll keep making it worse. What is going on, Jeremy? How is any of this happening? I made... I made a terrible promise with someone. The Dark Man. Who is he? No, 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 don't say his name! He can hear us! He's always listening. Jeremy... 
I need to understand what is going on. I promised him everything. When the sun rises, I will be chained in his sunken desert temple for an eternity. But at least the evil about to awaken and to settle won't harm anyone outside of that cursed place. You're acting crazy, Jeremy. I want to help. There's nothing you can do. Then what's all the business about Teruea? Why did you want to go there? Well, I can't go there. Not allowed. But you wanted to. Can I go? Tell me, will it help me to break your pact? Is there something there that would help? Why would you give me hope? That's so cruel. Okay. Sounds like we're onto something here. What should Look I- Look out! Behind you! Run! Don't let him take you! What the fuck? Uh... What the fuck, bro? Jeremy! I don't know what that thing was behind me. I didn't even get a good look at it, but it was huge. That's all I know. I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then bind out like tied glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman. Maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way. A way to find me again, perhaps in Teruaya. Oh, my love, Jeremy. Dude, Jeremy's a nice guy. We gotta save this dude. Luggage key. Jay Hartwood luggage key. Yo, we gotta fucking... Let me save this game. We gotta fucking save Jeremy, bro. We literally gotta save Jeremy. She's dead. No matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. Holy shit. We got a luggage key. Where the fuck? I'm trying to remember where I seen that open, that locked chest, I mean. I really don't remember where I seen that. We had Jeremy's room. Not this one, right? No, that's the boxer boy. Right here, I think this was Jeremy's room. Okay, there's the trunk. That's his luggage, dude. The lens for the fucking telescope. Why would I lock that up? All right, we're going to the fucking telescope room, boys. Alrighty, let's see. Let's see what this telescope's all about in this weird ass room. That lens on there. Here we go. That, that, that's focused to me, right? What do we got to line them up? Yeah, that looks focused enough to me. Oh, we got to line them up already. Boom. Wait, no, we don't line them up, do we? What is that? What are we looking for? Oh, wait there. Yeah. Is that it? Oh! We found something! Oh, we're in another memory. Oh, a puzzle on the wall. We go out the door too? No, we can't. Okay, good. Let's, um... Put this shit together. This should be easy. Yeah, we can't even rotate them. We just move them. This should be really easy. So... That goes there. This one, I would assume, is centered. That goes in that corner. This is that. There we go! 947! The combination lock! How much you wanna bet? Oh, he's doing it on there. Whoa, what's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory? Where is that? That's the dining room beside the uh, piano, where the piano fell. We know where to go, we know where to go. 
Dude, we're so fucking smart. I didn't know my memory was this good either, guys. I, I, I'm just as astonished as y'all are. Or surprised, I should say. Yup, and there's the fireplace. It said 947, if I remember correctly. Go. What do I do? Oh, and it's covered by rot as well. It's so oh, that room has light. I didn't even see that. What the fuck? Chapter 3, baby! That majestical dude, he's beautiful. I'm glad to see you made it. I had my doubts, but the hope you instilled has yet abandoned me. I guess this must be Tarawea. Who are you? My name is Juan Luis Jorge, and this is indeed the convent of Tarawea. You'll have to excuse me, but Yermi never got your name. The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. I'm the author of a book that Yermi once found important. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? I think calling me a manifestation of Yermi's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Tarawea. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy, why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, this far-flung convent is what Jeremy imagines. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity. A spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Jeremy subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. He can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their seto and Jeremy's psyche, it's simply not possible. But I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. Am I right? <laughs> yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? You should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the Dark Man. It's the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Yermi with. Wait, why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. You'd be better off consulting the text of Dr. Freud if you want such answers. <laughs> no thanks, I hate shrinks. There is another thing you should know about the library. He is here as well. The dark man has been working his way through the text for a long, long time. He's here? How am I supposed to get past him? Be careful, detective. Oh, jeez. Just perfect. I dare the dark man to pull up. I'll show him this fucking Taekwondo, bro. But, uh, other than that, we're gonna end it here, folks. That's crazy, though. So we found out that we found Jeremy, but we really didn't find Jeremy, but we found him, you know what I'm saying? Um, he made a pact with the Dark Man, and now we're basically trying to break that pact, and we're going to save Jeremy and kick the Dark Man's ass. So, if you want to see the Dark Man get his ass whooped, stay tuned, all right? So, if y'all enjoyed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, all right? On your way out, or on your way in, or whenever you do it, all right? And without further ado, I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.